When you first log into your Folio account, you will be taken to this page. This is known as your dashboard. It is mainly for organizational use. Right now, in this video, we're going to focus on the main profile page. So to start, you're going to click on your name. As you see, I've set up just a blank template here. And this is going to be the same for you when you get your account. To start, what you're going to do is go to edit this page. Click on that. And now the cool thing about this is it's very user friendly. So it's a lot of just drag and drop. So to start, if I want to add a text box, you can see all these different elements already in here, such as about me, my pages, my groups, my friends, and my wall. Those are just preloaded things that you can change or remove. If you want to remove them, just click the trash can and OK. I'm going to show you how to add a text box. So you're going to come over to the left hand column here, click and hold down, and drag in it. Now, as you can see, there's a highlighted section between About Me and My Pages. That's where I'm going to drop this right now. Or I could put it anywhere on the page. As you can see, the highlighted section moves around. But for now, we'll put it right here. And then to continue your text box, we'll give it a title. So if I want this to be teaching experiences, and then in this section, I could put detailed description of my experiences. And then for this section, all of the editing purposes are very much like Microsoft Office or any other word editor. So very simple to use. If I want to bold that for example very simple to save this we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and we're going to click save and there you have it you have your text box within your main page now so if I go out of the edit page and back to my main page that everyone will see you can see my text box shows up there now so we'll go back to edit this page and I'm going to show you how to add an image. So very similar, you're going to click and hold down on image and drag it anywhere in. Again, you'll see the highlighted little box. I'm going to drop mine right between or right above my friends. And it's going to come up with another thing here. So you can add another title. I'm going to put it as scenery. Now here, when you're uploading files, you have to click that you certify that you are the owner. So just click yes. You can ignore the license licensor and original URL. To upload your picture, you're going to choose files. Click on that. I want to pick this picture of Tofino. And as soon as it uploads now, you're going to see it right here. Now we go all the way to the bottom and we're going to click save again. And now your image shows up in your profile. So as you can see on your main profile page, you can move things around. If I want to put my teaching experiences above my image, if I want to put my friends and my wall over here, click done and then click on my profile page. And as you can see, it's right back to my main profile page with all my changes on it. 